yo, y me tapó la cara y dije, salí en la portada. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so as far as okay. uh, guys, I'll show you a battle and get some water, so Roy and Toon, take it away. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. I'm Pokemon Stadium 2. We have Spargo's Peach Q, which I have never seen him play, against Aaron's Terry, which again I've never seen play, so I feel like the variety we're seeing here. So there might not be a lot that we can watch, but look at those combos. I think that he could have comboed that into the side B. Maybe a little slow in the reaction or just not knowing that. Of course, I don't expect every single player to know how to play like 70 plus characters that are in the game. Like we barely know all the matchups with our mains, so I don't I, I'm really not expecting for everybody to know how to occupy properly every single character. Sparva seems to be opting for a much more neutral approach. And while he's losing on percent, one edge guard and that could be it. The anti-air working on it. His favor. No, I absolutely agree with you, uh, Spargo. I don't think he has that much experience playing against Terry in general, but we do have some great Terry players here in Mexico. Shout out Sam Stain, shout out Sujasuo and some others. But Ichu, again, ever since patch one, I don't think that we have seen him that much. So right now, Spargo is doing whatever he can to just keep this somewhat even, but it seems that whatever hit that Aaron punishes him with is going to take away his stock, Ichu being the lightest character in the game after all. And of course, in perfect commentary fashion, every time this Sparko has gotten Aaron off stage, he hasn't gotten anything oh. up until that read with the oh. up smash, but that was not an edge guard, that was pure neutral reads. Doing it, making it work. I don't, I don't remember the last time that I saw a bitch who lived this way. No, me neither. Sparko doing an amazing job. This will definitely be a world record live on a tournament match look at him he's just not getting hit spargo playing the perfect neutral whenever he needs to that's something that i really admire from this kid he knows when to play patient and look at how well he is doing with that exactly just playing patient this is going to take away the stock of course but 211 percent it took him quite a while to lose that stock and aaron needs to needs to you know correct his offensive game yeah, and that is not only a little mileage for Pichu, that's like the entire, an entire rally, really. Like, it's, it's a bunch of percent, it's like, he can just take so much advantage of constantly at neutral and carry. And uh, the, the way that Spargo is doing is working out, letting this smashes rip and almost getting that stuck is the edge guard, be enough, no, finally, first power down, weirdly enough that we see the platform uh, saving Aaron right there. And we could see the confirm because Go is now on. But does Aaron know how to activate the moves? That's my question because Go does require some input. Oh, he does. And, okay, he does. He does know how to use the Power Gazer and the Buster Rope, so that covers that. But he seems to be having a lot of issues finding a way to properly no. use them. Let's look at no way, no! That's the biggest problem when you're using Terry and you don't know how to activate those moves. You can accidentally go for that, uh, for, for those flip kicks and stuff. No, what is this? Self edge guard. <laughs> he just gave his life away. It's the main problem, as you were saying. Doing that fraction in the opposite direction when you really want to do burn, burn knuckle. It's it's rough. It's rough. Like Terry doesn't have a like a bad recovery. It's definitely kind of linear, but it's not bad. It it goes quite a long way. But if you go the wrong way, definitely not once more. I want to see really how much percent he can wreck. Yeah, me too. Uh, we already saw him lift to more than 200%. I think that he is just trying to set a new record, but we're not going to get to see it because he catches the landing of Aaron with that fourth match, and that's Fargo 2 stalking Aaron. Really solid from him. And of course, Meister is still gone, it seems. So we're just going to have to continue on with this. And yeah, Spargo up 1-0. Looking really good. Looking pretty darn good. I feel like uh, Spargo's Pichu really was playing super simple, like more so taking advantage of Aaron's habits and, like, mis and forcing mistakes than really playing like Pichu's supposed to do. But it goes to show like what you were saying earlier that about Spargo and just how much has he grown as a player and how much he's really gotten this grit that he can just win every single matchup. Absolutely. It seems that Spargo, when, well, he, he plays a lot of online tournaments. Of course, he gets to see a lot of different matchups that you don't usually get to find in the offline meta. 
So that's a really good option for him, of course. And now he gets deep again. Another matchup that I don't see him. Another character that I don't see him play really. But he has Snake in front of him, and he does play it out a lot against Snake. So I guess this compensates that. It's the experience against the character versus how often he plays deep. He, I think he does have a DK actually. Never mind. Also, I'm back. Hi. Does he? Let's go. Like, uh, this is the nemesis Ooh. from his, from his main, right? Like, Spargo very famously said that DK beats Cloud. I do somewhat believe him. I, I'm very inclined. Yeah, I could see it. Also, Aethid, man, thank you so much for the raid, dude. How you doing, man? Would you like the tournament? Because I'll definitely invite you to the next one, bro. Absolutely. What is he gonna get? What Wait, what is he doing? Oh, oh, what is he? Oh, oh, oh he'll no live. Way. Reaction. No reaction. It was all counter recovery. Like Aaron not losing his patience even on the depths of freaking hell. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah. They can get back from anywhere. But yeah, Aaron really needs to keep his cool. I think that he was kind of losing it against Pichu, so now that he has Snake, uh, a character that lives for much longer, he needs to keep it straight, but no, it's not working for him. Spargo is just walking all over the Snake. That downer was so Stepping wild. on it. Lapping on it. The, look at those big DK hands, dude. Like, it's definitely some claps. He, he like, who's talking with, with Pichu, right? Yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he's not. He lived up, up until like 200%. Oh my god. Yeah, he was. He was. Like, he was not like he was going super ham with Pichu. Like, like I was saying, like, I was telling to him that, that he was just choosing the right options at the right time. And, but Ooh. looking like almost too simple, very simplistic, he was playing and he still managed to work. Spargo. I'm feeling I'm so used to seeing the flashiness coming from his cloud that now that he's another character that he just feels like uncon in control every single time, even if he's not doing the craziest stuff. Well, hang on guys, I broke I broke my chair, so I'm, I'm fixing it. What? If you guys could take it away. <laughs> I broke my chair. Uh, <laughs> that's that's I'm... one for books of commentary mishaps like <laughs> I'm too fat. <laughs> oh my god. You're too tall. Let's let's call it. you're you're big boat. Yeah, that's it. That's... I'm large. <laughs> oh dude. Was Never mind. I fix it. I fix it. I fix it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I can lean back. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry with that. Sorry about that, but back to the match. I mean, Spargo is still dominating. I don't see Aaron winning this, to be honest, because Spargo is winning is, is playing such a solid neutral game. And look, he is once again living to really high percents. Not as high as Pichu, mind you, but still really high percents. Oh, he knows. Very great patience on the best by Spargo. Is he gonna get this stuck at the conversion? The downer on the read and then finishing it. That's insane, man. What the heck? That was crazy. That was really good. Like, Spargo waited for that read, and exactly at the moment that he needed to do it, he pulled the trigger, and he got the stock. Oh, oh yeah, we got Smash Factor! Hey, let's go! Thank you so very much, Smash Factor. And thank you for helping us out, guys. Now, I've said this a million times, but Smash Factor is behind the production of this tournament, so... Definitely go follow them if you haven't. They are always making incredible graphics, designs, um, a lot of cool effects over here on the stream. Daily so content. Definitely, dude. Yeah. Many tournaments as well. And also, if, if, if Smash Factor is raining, that means that their side of the stream is over. So I'm happy to announce that MK Leo defeated Sharp 3 0, -oh, and he's going to go up against Esam on Loser Semi. So, yeah, really dominant from Leo right there. Oh, dude, I didn't, I didn't remember that they were playing that. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you guys think Leo will will bring it all the way to Jams? He might. I mean, he, it's it's his, not not to not to go on about like his losers run and stuff, but more so on that he really has a pretty deep pool of characters, so I, I could see him. Doing it. Yeah, he might do it honestly. As long as he doesn't get like bored or tilted, oh. like. I think he can do it. Yeah. yeah. Also, Spargo was about a zero to that um Aaron's Lucina right there, dude. Yeah. With Peach. That was gonna be a perfect shot. Yeah. That would be Chuffo. I don't know how well playing Swordy translates well like into playing Peach, but 
look at that, even getting the parries and the, the punishes are not the most optimal, but are definitely working out on the third world, the spark. Oh, definitely, it seems that Spargo is controlling the pace of the match too. Like he knows when to float cancel, he knows how to stall on the air, so he is getting Aaron kind of desperate. Of course, Aaron has taken so long to take away Spargo's stocks in general in this set that now that he has Peach in front, he thinks that maybe he can rush her down with the sword, but it's not working at all. He's just he just keeps opening himself up and look at the Spargo with the amazing punish game that we know him for. Of course, and. I, I think that Peach really used to struggle a lot versus Swordy characters and fast characters because she is not really the fastest character in the game. But once she gets a turnip in hand, that story changes and those turnips are really crazy. Talking about that though, like, Aaron looking for something here at the ledge. Uh, I don't know if he is gonna start up using like his out of shield options or just gonna oh. straight up play more neutral. Oh, nice side beat, bro. Holy crap. That's something oh, else. Spargo, not a feature meme, but he does go for some... Ooh, he, he used to go for some crazy plays, but now... I, I don't think he's gonna go for that many crazy stuff anymore, but... Still, I do I do appreciate the creativity with these characters that they don't play usually. Yeah, and you can tell they do have a lot of creativity, because, like... Do they go for stuff that, like, sometimes you go, like, wait, that works? <laughs> it might not, but since it's them playing and... It, it might kind of catch someone off guard, so it, it just might. It just might work. Oh, but that was really nice, and they're into a uh, forwarder right there. Actually going in Sparkle right here, man. Oh, never mind! He answers right back at us. ESAMFTW Damn, today. Oh, J-Lo. <laughs> J-Lo, thank you so much for the two months, man. He's on for the win today. Well, he is in the semis right now, man, so he might actually... Make the loser run? You know, bro. Thank you so much, Jayla, for the two months. Appreciate it, bro. Is that be a back throw? No! One too many pummels from Spargo. And what was looking pretty roughly, pretty solidly in his favor, it's now reduced well, to a small lead. It oh, small lead. Yeah. Okay, really waste it, bro. Yo, every time I see a peach no. out of pattern, they always waste it, bro. Well, it's really complicated for Peach Miss to use it. Now, thanks, Spargo, that does not leave Peach that often. It's going to be even hard for him. But I do I do still see some bursts of creativity. This is what Spargo needs. You need to get creative, buddy. Because Aaron is is getting used to your your counterplay. And oh my god, he's getting so much damage already. Wow, it's oh, no, again, dude. Oh, no way! Oh, dude, he's dead! Oh, no, he's dead! Oh, no, he's dead! Oh, he's dead! Oh, oh, Fargo, stop! Fargo, stop! Oh, my goodness, bro. Those what even? Oh, is that it? No, dude. He really is going to get the game for that. Oh, no, he made it back. What are you doing? What are you looking at? You got the knife. Just the hardest percent and the 10th easiest use didn't what oh my god just get the kill already. I want to see that. It's a nail That's it. What? Rio! You get won this match. Spaghetti, Mom Spaghetti definitely won this match. It was not smart though. Like, Aaron lost this game. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my what god. Not to take any credit away from Stargo. Of course not. Like, he kept yeah, his cool. Absolutely. But, like, the way that Aaron was playing, like, that was so clutch until it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, like... That was crazy, dude. Oh my gosh.